Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Good news for Igbos. Presidential ambition as popular Igbo politician visits two former heads of state. The vision is real. The struggle is real. This has to be done in this country. I mean, what is good for the goose is good for the gangas. You cannot do one thing for one people and not do for the others. It must go all around. It must be fair, especially if you have children. Things must be done decently and in order. All your children must be able to be treated fairly, equally and in order. You see? So what's happening here is that in Nigeria, we've got an order uh, form of uh, president from every political zone, but from the southeast. Let's get straight into the news as uh, pol prominent politicians from this zone goes to see former heads of state to discuss as 2023 gets closer with regards to what is going on in the country. We need this. Look at what happened in Enugu. There needs to be balance in, polit in politics of this country. Let's continue. Good news for Igbo presidential ambition. As popular Igbo pol political politicians visit two former heads of state. As 2023 draws closer, the game for the seat of the next president is becoming hot by the day. The incumbent president, who not to be contesting, who not, will not be contesting after would have completed his second tenure. Many people are of the opinion of giving power to someone from the southeast. Perhaps this could be the time for the Igbo man or woman to become the president of Nigeria which is good. Former governor of Abia State was, close, was closely demonstrated the evil desire of ruling Nigeria by going to visit one of the godfathers of the country. Oji Kalu visited two former military rulers, Ibrahim Babangida and General Abu Salim, retired at their country homes in Mina, Niger to discuss his ambition of becoming Nigerian president in 2023. The senator disclosed to journalists after the meeting that he would contest for the next president of Nigeria if given the opportunity by the electorate. He also said he would still seek re-election for Senate, but would not hesitate to contest for presidency if his people choose him Kalu belongs to the All Progressive Congress, APC. Well, this is the same Kalu. Don't forget the person who, uh, you know, was in prison for mismanagement of uh, Abia's phone. The money this guy, uh, from that country, from that state, in fact, that's the person that wants to rule Nigeria. Are there no young men and women from Abia, from, uh, from, I mean, Southeast, who could come up and you know, get in for presidential position because these the young men and women that they are killing. Can you see what is going on? You see the irony going on in this country. The young men and women that could rule, they are the ones that you know, this president's administration is given you know, the army right to go ahead and shoot aside. And to make matter worse, they were yesterday going from house to house, searching out um, IPOB members harassing any young boy or young girl they see on the street, asking them to give them a direction of where they have run to. You see this country? It's called Nigeria, where anything goes. You know who is keeping us in this country? Niger in this country called Nigeria? God, only God. Because if you want to look at, you know, if you want to look at uh, political laws, there is no such thing. If you want to look at law and order, rule for law mm -mm, mm -mm. it's out of the window to the extent that it's the americans that had to come and tell us that there is no rule of law in nigeria and the nigerian president was like no you can't say that blah 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 but what have we got today what have we got today look at it yourself and tell me what have we got in today can we continue like this we cannot make headway if we continue like this we can't so are there no young men and women it's a good thing you desire this position. It's a good thing at least. But 
Are there no young men and women you can sponsor to say, come up, come up and rule? I will, we will sponsor you, we will be with you, you know? I mean, APC is saying they are not zoning this thing because they know what they are doing. They can't zone it. You know why? You don't know what Tinubu did for them. You don't understand. You, have you heard of the polling van? The one uh, Runo Mokri is suing for? You know why in this country, they, you know why Tinubu, if, if, if every one of us like, let us sign the petition. Unless the international community is the one to probe Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu. EFCC tried it. EFCC boss tried it. He got burnt. You know, you can't, uh, when, the, when the fire, the stone, is, the coal is burning, you can't go there and pick hot coals with your hand, can you? You can't do that. Go there, pick hot coals with your hand. You can't do that. Well, he tried it. Brian Mago, and, and look at where, where, where he's landed him. They tell you, presidential panel are investigating him. What is the result of the panel? Are you there? Is it not what they tell you you will take that they investigated him? This is what they said. This is what they said he did. This is what he did. This is what he did not do. <clears throat> My dear Nigeria, that a policeman will oppress you. And when they ask, he will shoot you. When they come, he will say, ah, oga na thief. He won't run. Na shooter. Case closed. <clears throat> Case closed. Are, are, you, are you kidding me? In this country? <clears throat> oh. It takes God for a man to get justice in Nigeria. It takes God for a woman to get justice in Nigeria. It takes God. People that have ruled before wants to keep ruling. They don't want to leave the place. They want to keep ruling again and again. Why? I mean, it's lucrative. It's, you make money out of it. They pay them excellently well. They are the most paid in the country. Becoming a, a governorship, whatever, is fine. In fact, it's very, you will, you will be well paid. So what are we talking about? So my people, this is what is happening, you know? this is what it is today as we speak. You see, uh, Zukalu just came back from prison, you know, and uh, I don't know whatever, it was, it was a senator, Lawa went, the other senators went, they were saying, ah, ah, are you, are you giving, a, are you giving a, a solidarity movement with him, with somebody, is, you know, one of, before you know it, he's back in the Senate, and you say Buhari's government is not, uh, is not, Buhari's government is not, is not corrupt. The, one of the most corrupt police, you know, governments we've had in recent times. I don't know where we are headed as a country, but God will save and deliver us. Anyway, guys, this is what is happening today. Uh, Zokalu has gone to see Bra um, Babangida as well as um, the other uh, military ruler head of state to ask for, you know, blessings to become Nigerian president. So what are your take on this matter? Leave us a comment. Let's hear what you have to say. Don't forget to like us, to share, to subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. From us is bye for now.